All right, here is the other method for solving solutions, uh, for, for solving systems of equations like this with algebra. The previous algebraic method was the substitution method. This is a similar thing which sort of has the same goal of getting you an equation with one variable that you can solve. And once you have that equation of one variable, you can solve it the normal way and then use that to find the first variable. But this way we're going to eliminate one of the variables a different way. And here's the basic idea. We write both of the equations in general form where you have a number times x plus a number times y equals another number. And then once you have that, you try to add the equations together so that one variable's terms cancel out. And so let's see what that looks like here. We'll take, call this one the green equation and this one the purple equation. Now, uh, I'm going to get the 2y from 5x equals 2y plus 21 onto the other side. And so it's 5x equals 2y plus 21. To do that, let's subtract 2y from both sides. And the 5x and 2y are not like terms, so we just have to write that as 5x minus 2y equals 21. And then for this other equation, we're going to need to uh, add the 3x to both sides. And that will look like 2y plus 3x equals 19, because the 3x cancels, and you're just left with 19 on the other side. Uh, and actually, I'm going to swap the order of the 3x and 2y and write it as 3x plus 2y, because you'll see it's nice to have them lined up here. Uh, and this is actually what we want because you'll notice that the negative 2y and positive 2y are opposites. So if I just copy this equation right here, you can see that if you add the left side, you add the left sides together and then add the right sides together, like so, then what you're going to get is 5x plus 3x, which is 8x. Negative 2y plus 2y is 0. And 21 plus 19 is 40. Now, that was the whole point. That was the elimination step where the... 2y's cancelled out, negative 2y and positive 2y's cancelled out, and we end up with this nice equation with just one variable. Uh, and so sometimes you don't have it so easy. This was a basic example. Sometimes you might have to do something to both sides where the to, to, to get them to cancel out. You might have to multiply both sides by something if you don't have them as opposites. But anyways, let's just finish this one up. And that means divide both sides by 8 to get x by itself, and that gives you x equals 40 divided by 8, which is 5. And then once you have that, you can plug that into whichever one of the equations you like. Uh, I'll just use the original green equation to solve that to find out what y is. So I'm just going to replace the x in this equation with the value of x that makes it work, which should be 5. So we're going to do 5 times 5, and that's going to be 25. And subtract the 21 from both sides and divide by 2. Which gives you 2 equals y. So that should be the solution. It's not a bad idea to check it by plugging in your value of x and your value of y to make sure that both sides are equal in both equations, but I think it does work. And so we can say the solution
is 5, 2. So that's the basics of the elimination method. Here's another example of solving a system by elimination in a situation where it's a little bit diff more difficult than the last one. Um, because with the last one, it worked out really nice that the negative 2y and the 2y canceled each other out. But that doesn't always happen. So uh, here is a little bit more detailed instructions copied from the textbook that, that you can uh, follow in situations like this. So first thing I want to do is take the green equation and add 3y to both sides. That's going to turn that into 2x plus 3y equals 3. And then you notice you don't have like opposites here. Uh, you, you'd like you have a 6x, but you don't have negative 6x. And you have a 10y, but you don't have negative 10y. So if you were going to add these together, add the left side of one to the left side of the, the other, you're not going to get anything to eliminate. So that's what uh, step two is about. Decide which variable to eliminate. Then multiply each equation by an appropriate constant so that the coefficients of that variable are opposites. So you could either choose y or you could choose x. I'm going to choose x because all I need to do is multiply this uh, 2x. If I multiply that by negative 3, then uh, this will become negative 6x, and negative 6x will cancel out with the 6x. Uh, but if you chose the y, you could still do it. You'll just need either weird fractions or it will take more steps. You'd have to multiply this one by 3 and this other one by like negative 10. That way you could have 30y and negative 30y, but that just takes one extra step. So I'm just going to try to eliminate the x's like so by multiplying both sides of this by negative 3. And remember that you need to distribute when you do that. So we're going to end up with negative 6x, because we're multiplying both of the terms by negative 3. Negative 6x minus 3y equals negative 9. But of course, uh, negative 3 times 3 is actually negative 9. So that's that. Now I'm just going to copy this original first equation down here. So we can now add them together. When you add the left sides, you get 0x, which was the whole point of all that stuff. Negative 10y, sorry, negative 9y plus 10y works out to just be plus y, and that should be equal to negative 9 plus 14, which is 5. So uh, that gives you just y equals 5. Now let's substitute that into one of the equations, maybe just the original green one. So just replace this y in the original green equation with 5, and that should tell us what x is. We got 2x equals negative 15 plus 3, uh, which is negative 12. And then if you divide both sides of that by 2, But x is negative 6. So we could always check it. In fact, I'm going to check it right here on the side. So I just wanted to make sure that plugging in x equals negative 6 and y equals 5 into the two original equations made them true, and it does. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. That's the same thing as negative 15 plus 3. And if you do negative 36 plus 50, that comes out to 14. So yeah, the solution is negative 6, 5.